the mogul is Dame Dash. The fact that he raps about not being able to rap in the song I am Dame Dash shows that he has never positioned himself as a rapper. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. We're getting off topic. Dash is a business operations flex person. He made the decision to take 50 Cent on in the business world for this reason. With reference to his TV network, 50 was advised by the previous head of Rockefeller to put his money where his mouth is. Somebody definitely sent me that cute shit 50 Cent about me not having no money. He even declared that, in direct competition, his network would perform better than 50's. Perhaps you're wondering why. Like with most of 50 Cent's feuds, it was initiated by 50 Cent. The only person that pointed out that a million dollars was no money was Damon Dash, and he has no money now. In an episode of the Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast, the rapper asserted that Dame Dash has no money now. When Dash learned about this, he chose to respond on Instagram. I feel like now, me and 50 should have a battle. Dash confirmed. No gangster shit, I'm 53 years old, that would be whack and corny for the culture. The alternative Dame Dash proposed was a CEO war. Dash wants to see which hip-hop businessman has their pulse on the culture. He's in the television network business now. Let's do CEO war. He asserted. I'ma drop my network. What I'ma do is I'm also gonna drop a new original America new movie. Then, in order to put the two in direct competition, Dash pushed 50 Cent to release a film on his network. The businessman continued after that. He took advantage of the chance to intimidate 50 into buying Rockefeller Records' 33% share. Dame Dash has been told to sell his portion of the storied label, but he hasn't been able to locate a buyer willing to pay what he wants. Dame Dash made the decision to go on 50 Cent in an attempt to accomplish two goals at once. Where are you at? It's still for sale, Dash explained. The starting price was 1.2. Now it's 3 million. And if you got it like you say it, buy it. I challenge you. We can't blame Dash for how difficult it has been to sell off his 33%. One of the biggest musicians to ever grace hip-hop is 50 Cent. In addition, he is a man who succeeded in a number of business endeavors to become a tycoon. Biff has seen a lot since his modest beginnings. In addition to being tapped into the streets, he has been involved in his fair share of rap feuds. As such, he is well suited to talk about a wide range of subjects. Just so happens that one of these topics is the beef between NBA Youngboy and Lil Durk. Youngboy and Dirk haven't had the best relationship. Even though Dirk is making an effort to get past rap beef and the associated way of life, some folks haven't changed. When you see an like, NBA Youngboy and Lil Dirk, it's just, and they, they got extreme going on. On Million Dollars Worth of Game, Fifth shared his complete thoughts about the Dirk and Youngboy scenario alongside Gilly and Wallow. But when it happens, NBA Youngboy will be away, so Dirk has an extreme advantage. 50 Cent contends that Youngboy will be unable to work with other musicians since he is incarcerated. Dirk, in the meantime, has the freedom to travel, interact, and record with a wide range of musicians. This is actually out and meeting people. In addition, audiences have a tendency to forget about musicians who are imprisoned for extended periods of time. Yes, there will be many who long for the good old days, but in the eyes of the masses, Youngboy may eventually become obscure as Dirk gains more and more ground. It's an intriguing viewpoint, and time will tell if he is right or not. The only person that pointed out that a million dollars was no money was Damon Dash, and he has no money now. He informed Wallow and Gilly Doc Kid that Dame was beset by financial difficulties since she had laughed off his $1 million offer from Interscope. Aftermath, Shady in 2002. Do you get your watch, chain, and you look out for the homies and you do this, then it's not. 50 said. And I was like, NA, I'm from 134th Street. A million dollars is a lot of money. I'm thinking I hit the lotto. How you gonna say it's no money? I just never forgot that because of how it felt. Dame Dash is putting his one-third ownership stake in Rockefeller up for sale and has openly discussed his current financial difficulties. The story of reasonable doubt goes on. Record-breaking conflict has characterized 2024, but the animosity between Jay-Z and Dame Dash over the latter's debut album has been equally intense. I've gotten a lot of calls, a lot of offers. Of the album, Dame Dash owns one-third. He has made a concerted effort to make the offer attractive and has actively advocated to sell his share to the highest bidder. It would be because they want to buy it, you know, like a first right of refusal. On August 19th, Dame Dash further sweetened the pot by declaring that he would provide a rock of fella chain to the first person to agree to buy a third of the record. If you do want to buy one third of Rockefeller Inc. Dash told his Instagram followers. He then threw some shade towards those who have tried to talk down the $10 million asking price. Anything over 10 million, I'm gonna sweeten the pot. You get an original Rockefeller chain from around my neck. The co-founder claimed to be the only one who gave out Rockefeller chains during the label's heyday. If I don't give you the chain, it's not a legit Rockefeller chain. He decreed. Ever the entrepreneur, Dame Dash invoked a classic Rockefeller moment in his pitch. He brought up the memory of the 2003 concert when he gave Kanye West a chain. Kanye, Cameron, he added. If you're gonna call, please have the intention of spending some real money. Days before, the music executive made fun of Jay-Z's legal representatives. Dame Dash posted something. They can say what they want. This SHT is still for sale, he clarified. 
You're not buying a copyright, you're buying a piece of a company Rockefeller Inc. Please only serious inquiries only.